What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Cards with Ben and before we get started with today's video I just want to say massive thank you to hitting 100 subscribers, a major major milestone on the channel and can't wait to see what's next. Uh, we've just passed actually 108 subscribers I believe so it's really been growing the channel and I just want to thank everyone who subscribed and I'm going to carry on making more car content. I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart because it's a dream of mine to do this, so thank you. So, let's jump straight into today's video. I hope you like this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you do. Let's go with it. So, I'm going to talk about five of the most powerful Mercedes that have ever been made. Now, I'm sure there's different variations, but these are the five that I picked up on, which were probably some of the most powerful productions out there. And from all the way back 20 years ago to now. So I hope you can enjoy this video. Let me know if there's any more that I've missed and let's get straight into it. So coming in at number one is the AMG GTR. So the AMG GTR has been around for a few years now, uh, which was first produced as a GT in 2015. And then in 2017, they released the GTR Pro, which is absolutely insane. It's got that V8 by Turbo, which is one of my favorite AMGs on the uh, market today, actually. And probably the only one I would buy if I had the money. Obviously, it's the very top end, producing a, a roughly 577 horsepower. And then if you want the Roadster, it's actually 470, roughly. So there are some rough numbers, but still one of the most powerful AMGs on sale today and ever. So it definitely makes the list. And I love the interior. As some of you might know, this car has been used in the Formula One. Uh, as a safety car for quite a while now, so it's pretty awesome, and I do love it in that green. I think it's a, I don't know if it's a Nurburgring green where they made it for the Nurburgring. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they made it in several different colours, and I have to say I've always loved the GT. I love coupes. If you know you, if you know me on this channel, I talked about coupes before, and I just love them. Two door coupes are really awesome. So here's the GT, sort of stripped down a little bit. So the GTR Pro is probably 120k, and you're looking at 90k for the GT Coupe as a standard model. But still, both awesome cars, um, and some of the most powerful today. Coming in at number two, I have gone for a SL65 Black. So not just the SL65 AMG, but the Black series. So that as some of you might know from years ago, when Brabus used to make Mercedes, they also used to Brabus and AMG combining, and then Black came along and it made this insane, ridiculous, powerful Mercedes. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brabus don't do as much anymore, but the Black series, if you've probably heard of them, which is more new, created the SL65, and the SL65 is probably just the most insane Mercedes, in creating 100, 604 horsepower, and the prices of these were just ridiculous. This was a £200,000 car believe it or not so very rare you're very unlikely to see one but if you do you'll know because it just has that wide sort of arch body kit just looks awesome with the diffuser and love these absolutely awesome but you just never see them which is what i love about it which is why i like a cool car that you never see so it's got that v12 by turbo which is insane coming in at number three i have gone for a s c63 black so the c63 black is also another version now this isn't a model that has been around as long as the others this one came around in 2013 and was an updated for the c-class and then they stuck the amg on it now i was going to go for this modern c-class but it just didn't have as much horsepower as the c63 black which was the old edition and for me i just prefer the styling of this one it is absolutely awesome again much like the sl65 it produces a, an incredible amount of horsepower roughly 517 horsepower so one of the most powerful for a coupe that mercedes had ever made at the time now the interior is a bit dull but personally i absolutely love these for that wing you just and this is a model that you just don't see as often you see more of the normal camgs now but the black c63 s was just incredible with that v8 and for me, again, another top for the Mercedes AMG cars because this was something that created a 6.3 litre, I believe, although it is supposed to be a 6.2 for the, a lot of the Mercedes cars. Coming in at number four, I have gone for the SLS AMG. The SLS AMG, as some of you might know, has been around for about 10 years now, a bit over that, and it still is one of the most powerful cars that Mercedes have ever made to this day, creating a total of 604 horsepower. The SLS, for me, was 
one of my favourite cars to ever come out at the time. Now, obviously, you never see them anymore because they are quite rare in terms of a lot of people now have an AMG GT and it kind of replaced the SLS. But don't forget, the SLS came with those awesome gullwing doors and I love that interior. It was a bit more simplistic than it is now on the AMG GTR, but I absolutely love it. Now, obviously, these things are not reliable and they are very expensive. So, again, another 6.3 AMG. But again, one of the most powerful Mercedes that Mercedes ever made from the AMG line. And yeah, really awesome. You never really see any of these and it'd be great to see them. It just isn't as practical as a GTR is today. So I can understand why they moved on from that look. And then they stopped the gullwing doors, which is a shame. But a lovely car nonetheless. And coming in for the final choice that I've gone with today and today's video, it is the CLK GTR. That's right, I say the best to last. The most powerful car Mercedes have ever made. Well, back in the 20 years ago era and still is one of the most powerful cars. Insane. Um, obviously, it was a road car, so it was technically a production car, but very, very rare. I think they made about 25 of them. Now, they do have the Project 1 now, but I'm not including that because it doesn't really count um, and it's not really out yet officially, but... I've gone for the CLK GTR because this thing was in every racing game you can imagine. And for that reason, I absolutely loved it. It was just insane and it looked insane. And it still sort of has that pedigree of Mercedes, but in sort of a race car look, which is where they got it from. They actually used it as a GTR race car. And then they took those 25 and made them into road cars. So very fortunate people own these. Never actually see one before and you're very unlikely to see one ever. I'm sure there's one around in the UK somewhere but the rest will be elsewhere across the world. And just looking at it, you know it's something special, creating an insane amount of horsepower. I believe it's, it's over 600 horsepower. So yes, those are my top five Mercedes cars that I have included in today's. I did want to just say an honorable mention for the SLR McLaren, but it wasn't quite in the list for the most powerful, even though it did produce quite a lot. I felt like there was other options that were more interesting and I'd already included the SLS. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for 100 subscribers. Peace.